Welcome to a solo talk of adventure, and today, due to some technical difficulties, we're starting late, specifically 13 minutes late into the raid. But that's okay, as our goals today are simple. Complete tasks for our favorite trader, Jaeger, the man who loves torturing us for no specific reason. And today's journey lands us in woods, with the task of stashing two iskras and two water bottles, and also killing five scavs with a bolt action and no iron sight. A beautiful way to start today's adventure. Oh my god, what the hell was that? That scared me. Since when were there landmines here? I'm not running that way, I'm going back that way. Healing up after that small casualty, it was time to head over to our first location, the ZB-16 bunker. Okay, yeah, so I need to go towards outskirts, and I also need to go towards the other side of the map. So we'll go to, we'll go to that, that other one. What is it, ZB-16 first, stash it there, head through sawmill, maybe pick off a few scavs. Well, not through sawmill, that's suicide. Around sawmill, but scout sawmill. And then to ZB14, and then extract outskirts. That's the plan here. Is the plan gonna go to plan? Probably not, but it's still a plan. With the plan down, we continue our journey over to the bunker. You know, I'm fine with them removing the snow on like every other map, but woods, I want the snow to, uh, to stay. I don't know, I think woods is like 800x less scary and 200x cozier with the snow. As I was running across the whole map, it didn't take me long to come across some action. Ouch! What? <gasps> My stomach! Oh, we're gonna have to deal with players, scavs. With me having a late spawn this raid, I would not only have to deal with the PMCs, but also players scavs that have looted the whole map and we're heading over to the extract. That's a player scav. You have an ADAR and a tea bag. But he's gonna have a lab key gun in his pocket. Right there, that one. That's on a lab key card. Ooh, I don't need that. Take the apple juice though. Wait, a Tushonka and apple juice. That's actually worth. I no longer need to eat my, my Iskra and water. Okay, where actually is this bunker? So it's like directly east of the plane. And the plane is... Where's the plane? Is it not like here? I'm just gonna go east. Oh, wait a minute, is that the green flare, no? Locating the bunker, I'd first have to kill a scav outside it before being able to go in. A good opportunity to get the 40 meter scav kills with a bolt action. Yeah, that is agile. Please tell me that's 40 meters. I'll check once I'm inside. Is this the bunker I need to be in? Oh, I'm about to get shot. Is it here? It is. Okay, let me quickly place these. Boom, that's one. And then, do I have to do it again in the same place, or? I did the Iskra, what do I do the water? Wait, are they in different places? Oh, never mind. I guess it just didn't show up. Sure. Okay, let's see. Did that scav guild count? It did! Okay, well, maybe 40 meters isn't as far as I thought it would be. Never mind. And so our next destination was to head over to the sawmill to hopefully hunt some scavs on the way out. Until we came across another issue. Holy crap, wait. Wait, I can't heal. My Salua has ran out. Please have bandages. Give me a bandage. Give me cheese. Give me cheese. That's not cheese, that's ammo. And with no way to stop the bleeding, I would need to find something pretty soon or I'd bleed out. Wait. That will have medical supplies, surely. The little camp ahead of us, I don't know what it's called. That's right there. That will have medical supplies, it has to. Unless someone has hit it, but surely they wouldn't take like a bandage. So we're just gonna pray. Seeing something in the distance and not knowing if it was a player or a scav, I couldn't risk taking any damage as the less health I had, the less time I'd be alive for. That does not look like an AI scav. I don't have the capabilities right now to fight. I just need a bandage. And at this point, some heals too. How much time do we have left? Oh crap. With only 12 minutes left in the raid and my extract on the other side of the map, I'd need to fight this bandage soon to be able to have the time to make it to the extract. I don't know where the med crates are in this place. We're gonna check the scav. Please have a bandage. Or an AI too. Oh, that's just mags. Please! Oh my god, not that. That's the wrong one. That's for heavy bleeds. Give me a bandage. Oh! 
We need to go. We need to use this and go. We cannot take a single piece of damage right now or we just drop because our head is blacked. One tick of damage from any bullet and we're gone. Do we even try and stash this? I mean, it is along the way out and I wouldn't have to come back. So to be honest, we might as well. And so we headed over to the ZB-14 bunker, drinking our last juices along the way and honestly not even being cautious about any other players as with seven minutes left in the raid, we don't really have any time to spare. Do I need the key to get in? No. Wait, someone's unlocked it. Oh, where do I place it? It said place, here. That's one, and let me place the second one, please. I have to run away and come back. Yes. Boom. And we should be able to extract. Yes. Cool. GG's, five minutes left in the raid, bro. That is crazy. Oh my god, we have the dehydrated one now. Ain't no way I'm doing that. Part of the process. It's part of the process. You drink the mail? 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 Mail, 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 mail. Waiting the seven minutes out to get the survive status, I completed this task first try, which is pretty lucky because I don't want to do this again. Welcome to Woods, and this raid we have one simple goal. Kill five scabs with a bolt action using only the iron sight. We spawned right next to this, I don't know what it's called, scab house, something like that. Spawning right next to the scab house, this is a location where many scabs can spawn, which is ideal for what we're trying to do this raid. That was until something happened that I think has happened to all of us at least once in Tarkov, and that was this. I did it him in the head. Oh, this isn't gonna go well. No, 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 I can't. Ah, oh, there's a laser on my head! A blue laser on your head moments before you die. A very Tarkov moment. Returning back to woods, we need to complete our task to kill four more scavs with a bolt action and no iron sight. So, after running across the map and hunt for some scavs, we finally found one. That is him! He's ratting in a bush! And killing these scavs isn't gonna be any easy task, cause with iron sights, I just simply have bad aim. I might just chill around this area to be fair. I'm decently familiar with it. And scav spawn as you can see right there. Oh. The scav is running. Beautiful. Oh, my leg! I can't hit you. My accuracy is so bad bro, this is horrific. Upon checking my task progression, it was only 2 out of 5, which means the scav I had just killed wasn't far enough. Next time, I'd have to be more cautious on the distance to make sure the kills were more than 40 meters. If I go back to scav house, do I have outskirts? I may as well if I do. I do, okay. Come on, please be a scav here, surely. At this little uh, road checkpoint, right? Nope. Nothing. Oh, hello. Uh, you are too far. That is plenty more than 40 meters. I physically cannot see you. Oh, I hate this. Okay, 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 chill. As the AI scavs pushed me, I also brought myself a shotgun so I could defend myself at close range as I don't really trust myself with the Mosin. Peek me. Jesus Christ. Right. Pixel perfect. Don't rotate. There. He rotated. Boom! Alright, nice. Surely that counts, right? Uh, did. Two more. He's in the tree. Hey, he's right there. What are you doing? Did I get this one? I did. One more. Okay, well, one of those must have been under, under 40 meters. Boom! And finally, we're done with this task, so all we had to do was head over to the extract. But our next task wouldn't be as easy as we'd have to kill PMCs instead of scavs. Welcome to Shoreline. 
Having the quest to kill 5 PMCs from over 80 meters, I thought Shoreline would be a good place to start, and with two sniping spots in mind, I headed over to the first one near the back of resort at the rocks. Yeah, so basically, I get up here, and I wait, that, that's it. When I see PMC, I shoot PMC, and I probably miss. You know, I'm gonna pouch my scope, because this thing is like 150k. If I lose the gun, oh well, if I lose the scope, sad moment. And so he tried over and over again to get up this rock, but it could just never happen. No matter how much I tried or what I tried doing, vaulting, running or jumping, nothing ever worked. Okay, I'm giving this one more try, then I give up. One last try. Yup. Alright, well, you have a good day. I'm not doing you. And so I headed over to my next location, which was a tree outside resort. But when I arrived, I was actually quite sad to see that it wasn't there anymore. Because since the shoreline rework and expansion, they removed it. Am I... Where am I? Where is the tree? What? It's different. Wait, this is completely different. Oh my god. My tree is gone. My campable tree is gone. It's GG. It used to be right there. There's no way, bro. It's gone. It's actually gone. Well, I don't even know now. Just uh, screw it. We just, just run. We just go somewhere. And with both of my plans pretty much just gone, I had no idea what to do or where to go. And with it also being about 20 minutes into the raid by now, I thought it'd be a good idea to just head out to the extract. Now, Interchange may seem like a weird choice, and I agree that it's not really a great sniping map, but sometimes you find yourself some early raid fights, and that's exactly what happened this time. Well, we got one. Oh, wait a minute, here's a friend. I could have gotten him. Is there anyone else from this side? There definitely could be. I. Oh my god, why is this gone so long? I wonder if his friend is gonna, like, stay and try get his body. Or just leave. Probably just leave, but I'll hope that he stays. Oh my god, I need stamina. Waiting for absolutely ages, I concluded that he probably left his friend's loot and just either extracted that hole in wall or just left. I don't even care about that guy's body. He can he can get it back in insurance. I I really don't need the loot. So I won't even go check the body. I mean chances are the, the, his friend is just gonna be holding it from like an angle and waiting to hear footsteps on it and then he'll push it when, when he hears it. And I have a sniper so what am I gonna do? I wonder if you could get up there now with vaulting. Like up there? Oh my god, wait, no, I gotta go check. <laughs> I could just check it at offline rate, but I gotta know now. Oh! <gasps> what is this spot? This is crazy! Ain't no one finding me up here. Oh, okay, that's my arm. That that is this is this is not right. Ain't no one seeing me here, bro. People don't look up in Tarkov. That's the thing. I think this is good for either like really early into the raid or to kill player scouts. But for PMCs, I don't really think so. But getting an 80 plus meter kill up here would be fairly unlikely. So I decided to go and camp rafters at the Emicom extract until no one eventually came. So towards the end of the raid, we made our way over to the Emicom extract. That's a player scav. He was trying to be friendly. I didn't be friendly. Maybe I shouldn't have shot him. We got a kill. It is what it is. It's okay. We got one kill. Arriving back in Interchange, this is where everything starts to go downhill, and I started getting really frustrated at this task. Maybe someone got past me when I looked away, but oh well. Oh, yeah, I was, I, was, I was right. I was right. Someone got past me. But that's okay, because we can just go again. Oh, what a beautiful spawn. What a beautiful spawn. Like, actually, I'm not, I'm not being sarcastic. This is a nice spawn. You know what I can do? Wait for someone to go up. There. Or not. Or not. I, I, no, never mind. Yeah. What's the point? What's the point? What, what is the point? 
Aha, and we come again, nice. And after sitting at rafters for yet again another 20 minutes, we finally saw a player scav. In which we proceeded to execute him, and then get executed ourselves. But that's okay, because once again, we can just go again. Okay, okay, I can work with this. I, I can work with this. And with this spot, right, I have one shot. If I fumble this one shot, it's over. Like, it's, 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 it's just over. There's actually no one here. No one is gonna come. What? <gasps> That's a player. Please? Was that not 80 meters? Is that not 80 meters? That, that, that 100% was a PMC. I am so done if it's like close. It's gonna be close. After checking the kill at the end of the raid, it ended up being 76.4 meters, just about 4 meters shy of 80 meters. Very sad moment, but we just gotta move on. <sighs> How is that not 80 meters? I got this beautiful thing. What ammo is it? PRS. Okay, it's less beautiful now. Making my way over to the Emigom Extract, I'd like to give the rafters one last chance. <laughs> Look at this body. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> But sadly, we were too late to the rafters as to when I lied down, PMCs came out from below me at the exact same time, meaning that they could hear me lay down and knew that I was up there. What? Didn't get him? There's two! I got them both? In no way! Man, those aren't 80 meters though. Those aren't 80 meters. It's useless. Oh, I don't have any bullets in this. Five? Ah, uh, we gotta be accurate. I got them both. Well, that's my five bullets gone. What do you have? Okay. It's level 32. Damn! Um, I made five five. I mean, that's a nice scope. That's a decent suppressor. Those are nice headphones. I don't need that. Oh, this this guy's bag is like empty. What? And what is this? Player scav? Probably. Maybe it was just an AI scav. Screw it, man. That's like half the lobby. Three PMC kills down this raid but none of them over 80 meters. To be able to complete this task, we're gonna have to change things up. Maybe run a different map, or maybe change our playstyle. Whatever it is, we just need to get this task done. We're gonna need to go like, I don't know, maybe customs? This is, this is gonna be hard, man. I don't know. This would be the part of the video where I finally get the kills. Finally beat Jaeger and prove to myself that I can complete his torturous tasks. But no matter what map I tried, I just couldn't get it to work. We'd end up going to Lighthouse, cause considering it's kind of a long range map, I may be able to pick up some long range kills there, especially the people that go into the rogue camp or even the ones who snipe it. And our first raid actually ended off amazing, giving me one kill and the hope to continue in Lighthouse. But realistically, every other raid that followed after that was just death after death after death with no progress to be seen. So over and over again, I went into Lighthouse, hoping to get that one lucky chance of spotting a PMC far away and getting the kill I needed, over and over again. And it's not like I never spotted anyone, I did once. And we did get the kill, putting us at 3 kills out of 5, but this type of interaction is so rare. In fact, it was the only time it happened, in every single one of these raids. <laughs> what is that scope? Bro, guy has like a 50x, what the hell?
go. I fumbled it. GG. I'm done. I can't do that anymore. I lost. I lost to the task. I lost to Jaeger. Jaeger beat me. Screw you, Jaeger. You made the worst tasks ever. Why do you even exist? Absolute torture.